Marty Kokish. Welcome to my garage. Um, did some more work on the MG today. Uh, removed the gas tank. Um, should have done this a little earlier on, but I've kind of been putting it off. But uh, uh, just makes doing things a little safer. Um, when, I, when I first got the car, it had one of the leaf springs was broken. So I, I got a set of new ones. Uh, I got a pair, even though this one's still kind of good, but just so they'd be the same as far as how broken in they are. Um, I uh, uh, replaced the one, but it was pretty, pretty tough, I guess. <laughs> um, I had to cut some of the bolts off and stuff to get it off of there with a grinder and a sawzall and stuff, and it was, I, I just get leery because it's right next to the gas tank and sparks are going all over the place. And yeah, so um, while I'm taking things apart, I, I figured maybe I should do that other leaf spring now. Um, so, but to do that one, I really wanted to uh, uh, pull the gas tank out because it looked like it's, it was leaking. Oh. Right around the center here, you can see it's all kind of discolored and stuff. Probably just a bad gasket or something, but this after after removing it, I think I'm actually going to replace this thing because there's. It's rusted through on the top, and um, and if I look inside, I can see it's kind of rusted on the inside too. It was probably sitting empty for a long time. Um, so gas tanks are cheap. I probably could try to fix this one up and stuff, but gas tanks are cheap. Um, just to bite the bullet and replace it, and uh, just to um, give you an idea of what you what you'd have to do to remove the gas tank on one of these guys. Um, I'll show you, but I didn't really do it in the most professional way, <laughs> I guess. Um, um, prior to doing, the first thing I did before I did anything was I drained all the gas in the gas tank. And uh, you can siphon it, or um, um, on the bottom here, I've already got the bolt out, but there's a bolt right here. You pull this out and the whole thing just drains right out. Be sure you have an ample supply of buckets or whatever to collect this stuff because um, I thought it was almost empty. So I just used this uh, blue bucket over here. Um, and uh, it was uh, not quite almost empty. It was uh, kind of filled all the way up to uh, like here. <laughs> and I'm going, please stop, please stop, please stop, please run out of gas. And it, it stopped right at the brim, so I didn't have gas all over the floor, which is cool. And, uh, you know, and then uh, after I got it out, I, I put it into an actual gas container. So I can use it again once uh, I get this beast back together. Um, but I'll, get, I'll give you a look in here. Um, it's pretty hacked up. There is uh, uh, this guy, the gas. Uh, uh, spout deal um, that just sits right in here. This uh, I just kind of uh, loosened up these uh, these straps right here and pulled the top part out and just pulled it right through the back of the car and then I uh, pulled this rubber housing off the top so that's off and then there's a uh, there's some bolts, a mix of bolts and studs around the uh, perimeter of the gas tank. And uh, the, the studs weren't too big of a problem. Um, I used that extension that my uh, brother recommended to me. And I was able to get all those off underneath, from going underneath. And, uh, but the, uh, uh, the studs, the, there's a nut on the bottom that's not really permanently attached to the gas tank and turning the bolt on the top it just came loose and freewheeled on the bottom so um, I tried uh, I tried holding it with a, like a pliers or a wrench on the bottom having my wife who's holding the camera <laughs> turn the uh, uh, turn the ratchet and still it, it we couldn't get a front grip on it and no luck so um, 
I decided to uh, just cut them off with an angle grinder. And uh, even the, and at this point, the gas had been out of the car for a few weeks now. And so I wasn't too concerned about gas fumes and stuff like that. But um, so my friend uh, Stifler was over. And uh, I'll probably cut to a scene from that. Uh, right now. What's that? I'm gonna go about it pretty slow. It's a little bit of time. I don't want to take too much time. So. All right. And then, uh, you know, I decided, hey, this is probably dangerous. There's sparks all over the place, and I don't want to explode. So. Um, what I decided to do is I filled the gas tank up with water just to make it a little safer and then I went back and uh, got the remainder of the uh, uh, the bolts with the angle grinder but I can, <laughs> if you look at this um, you can see I've kind of made a mess out of my trunk in a couple spots here down there um, and yeah I'm probably <laughs> gonna have to fix that now um, in addition to stuff I'm already doing, but uh, whatever. I just wanted it out. And in all my infinite wisdom, um, I uh, uh, you know, dropped the gas tank and stuff, but uh, where it goes to this uh, overflow thing, this was still hooked up. And so um, it looks like you just unscrew this nut on the top here. Turn the light around, Marty. Like that? So it's not looking right at the camera. It's fine. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it now, but when you had the light play going right uh, at the camera, it was yeah. glaring. Okay. Sorry. So it looks like you'd put a wrench and you'd be able to get it off a lot easier if that was one of the first things you did, maybe. Uh, and then the gas line here, uh, it was, I was trying to undo it right there and uh, uh, wasn't having much luck. And I thought, well, maybe if I drop it down a little bit. I'll be able to get at it a little bit better with a wrench and then pull it off then. And no luck. <laughs> so I just cut that off with a sawzall. So I'm gonna need to get a new gas line. I'm gonna need to replace this hose. And I'm gonna need to get a new gas tank, but that isn't necessarily my fault. <laughs> so, so I don't know. And uh, it's kind of late. Wanna put the cars back in and go inside and play video games for an hour or five. And so, uh, so yeah, maybe it has a little rush, but it was, uh, so don't do what I just did, but uh, maybe looking at this uh, will help you do a better job, <laughs> I guess. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, so I don't know, if, you, if you're watching this on Blip TV or YouTube, this is available as a uh, podcast free on iTunes if you're not a pod person or whatever so uh, uh, there's that um, again um, if you want real information on, on this kind of stuff I, I highly recommend uh, checking out University Motors YouTube channel that John Twist has a lot of awesome stuff on there but uh, yeah I don't know that's about it 